Welcome to a Lessons Learned session provided by Predictive Solutions. My name is John Mavros, and I'm the Director of Implementation and Support. And today we're going to talk about entering inspections with an iPhone or iPad. This also includes the iPod Touch. Subjects we will cover today are the initial sync, entering inspections, editing inspections, deleting inspections, adding photos, managing open issues, and syncing inspections. Okay, let's talk about the initial sync. After installing the application from the App Store, the first thing you would want to do from the home screen is tap Sync. This will present you with a screen that will allow you to enter your username, your password, and your server address. Keep in mind that your server address is the same thing as the URL or the address you put in your browser on your computer to access the SafetyNet website. Once all this information has been completed, tap Sync. Once you have tapped Sync, this will cause your device to synchronize. You will know that this synchronization has been successful when a green check mark appears in the lower right hand corner of your device. Once you see this, you can tap on Safety Net, which will take you back to your home screen. Now that you have synchronized, your device should have all the necessary information for you to complete your inspection. So to start that inspection, you want to tap on Start a New Inspection. Once you tap on Start a New Inspection, you will be presented with a screen it allows you to select your project. Now keep in mind, depending on how your company has set up your safety net site, you might see project, you might see facility or location. It's all the same concept. Once you've selected your project, you now want to select your name as being the inspector. Again, depending on how your company has set up your safety net site, you might see inspector, you might see auditor, you might see observer. It's all the same concept. Now that you've selected the project and your name is the inspector, you now have the ability to enter some additional information. You can tap on Reviewed With, which would allow you to type in the name of a person you might be reviewing this inspection with. You can tap on Comments, which would allow you to type in some overall information about this inspection. Keep in mind that you will be able to type in comments later in the inspection for each individual observation. You also have the ability to turn email report on and off. Now this is a special function that requires some setup by your system administrator. If this setup has not been completed, then turning email report on and off will have no effect. If this setup has been completed, then this is an easy way to automatically send an unedited version of your inspection out to a list of people. For more information about this, you can contact your system administrator. Once you have completely filled out this screen, you then tap Done. You will now come to a screen that will allow you to select your inspection type. Now for some of you, you only have one inspection type, so this step won't be necessary. Once you have selected your inspection type, you then select your main category that you're going to observe. You will now come to a screen that will allow you to select your contractor. Now depending on how your safety net site is set up, this could be contractor, this could be crew, this could be foreman, it's all the same concept. So select a contractor. Once you have selected your contractor, you now want to highlight the specific subcategory that you're going to observe. With the subcategory highlighted, if you want to collect safe information, you would simply tap on the green check. Okay, now let's say you want to add multiple saves or you want to add comments with your safe items. To do this with the subcategory highlighted, click on the check plus. This will bring up a window that will allow you to change the count. It will also allow you to type in comments to be captured as part of that safe item. To enter an at-risk item with the subcategory highlighted, you want to tap on the X. Once you click on X, you will be presented with a screen that will allow you to fill out additional details about your at-risk item. Once you have filled out all the details about your at-risk item, click Done. Once you click Done, you will be returned to your list of subcategories. You can either enter additional safe and at-risk items using those subcategories or you can tap on Safety, which will take you to your main list of categories. Now that you are at your main list of categories, you can select another main category and collect additional safe or at-risk items. If you do not have any additional at-risk items to enter, you can click Done. Once you click Done, you will be presented with an inspection quality pop-up. This will provide you feedback in terms of the number of safe and at-risk items that you have collected as well as the number of items that you provide the comments for. Your company may have provided a list of best practices in terms of 
how much information should be collected for each inspection. This allows you to compare the quality of your inspection to those guidelines. You can select Add More, and it will take you back to your list of categories and subcategories so you can add additional safe and at-risk items. If you're satisfied with your inspection, you can select Done, and this will take you back to your home screen. All right now, let's talk about editing an inspection. While an inspection is still on your device, you have the ability to edit it. To do this, from your home screen, select View slash Edit Inspection. When you do this, you will be presented with a screen that will give you a list of unsynchronized inspections that are on your device. Once you select the inspection from the list, you will be presented with the overall detail screen for that inspection. You can make whatever changes necessary and then select Done. Once you select Done, you'll need to select the inspection type and then subsequently the category that you would like to do some edits to. Once you select your category, it will list the subcategories. Next to each subcategory in the green boxes, you will have total number of safe items that have been collected and in the red boxes, you have the total number of at-risk items that were collected. So for example, if you wanted to edit the safes that you have collected for each quarry in good condition, you could click on the green box that has the three in it. This will bring up a screen that will list each of the safe items you've collected. Once you have this list, you want to select the observation that you would like to edit. Once you select the item, it will bring up the details box so you can make whatever adjustments that you'd like. When you're done making all your edits, you can select Done. From the same list of detailed observations, you can also delete. To do this, you want to select Edit, you want to select the observation you would like to delete, and then tap on the Delete button. To return to your checklist, tap on Cancel. When you tap on Cancel, this will take you back to your list of subcategories that you were working with. When you are finished editing this inspection, you can select Done. Now let's talk about deleting an inspection. To do this, from the home screen, you would select View Edit an Inspection. This will present you with a list of inspections that are on your device. From this list, tap Edit. Then, once you tap Edit, you can select the inspection that you would like to delete. Once you've selected the inspection, click on the Delete button, and then click Done. Once you've deleted your inspection, you can select Done, which will take you back to the home screen. Now let's talk about adding photos. While you're adding a safe or an unsafe item, simply select Add Photo at the bottom of the observation. Once you select Add Photos, you'll be able to take an observed photo or select an observed photo from your photo library. You also have the ability to take a corrected photo or select a corrected photo from your photo library. The photo will then be sent as part of your overall safe or unsafe observation. Our next topic is managing open issues. To manage open issues from your mobile device, from the home screen, tap on Manage Open Issues. If you want to resolve one or multiple items, you can simply hit Resolve. Keep in mind, if you close issues this way, it will use today's date as the date corrected. To identify issues that you would like to mark as complete, tap on the circle next to the item. Once you have selected all the items you would like to mark complete, tap Done. If you would like to manage a single open item and make additional edits, click directly on the open issue. This will bring up the details of the open issue. You can then mark the open issue as corrected. You can also make additional edits, such as who it was corrected by, what action was taken. You can also alter the completed date, as well as add a completed photo or additional comments. Once you have made all of your edits, simply tap Done. Finally, let's talk about synchronizing our inspections. From our home screen, select Sync. This will present you with a screen that will already have your username, password, and server stored. So all you need to do is select Sync. Once your synchronization has been completed, you'll be presented with a pop-up screen that will give you confirmation that the inspection was successfully uploaded. Click OK to that pop-up, and you will be back to your synchronization screen. You can then select Safety Net to get back to your home screen. Well, that's our session for today. If you have any additional questions, you can contact Predictive Solutions Support at the information below or contact your implementation manager.